The Kraft Foods Company, makers of Kraft quality foods, presents Harold Perry as the Great Gildersleeve. Gildersleeve is brought to you by the Kraft Foods Company, makers of the famous cheese food Velveeta. Everybody goes for Velveeta's rich yet mild cheddar cheese flavor in snacks, in sandwiches, and in hot dishes. And Velveeta, you know, helps supply important food values for milk and is as digestible as milk itself. That's why smart homemakers keep Velveeta on hand regularly to spread or slice and to melt for grand economical hot dishes. Tomorrow... Get Velveeta, the cheese food of craft quality. Well, there's a meeting of the Jolly Boys Club tonight, but there's one thing the great Gildersleeve is a stickler for. No matter where he's going, he never lets anything interfere with that quiet hour he spends with his little family. Uh, what are you doing, Marjorie? Knitting a sock for Bronco. One sock? Pretty big. What's he going to do, wear it on both feet? <laughs> Let's see, four plus 11. Doing your homework, Leroy? No, figuring out how many days I don't have to go to school between now and 1950. Oh, my <laughs> Four days at Thanksgiving, 11 at Christmas, only 15. Uh, Wonder why there has to be a million more school days than there are holidays. What a mean way to treat little kids. Leroy, what's the matter with you in school? Nothing the matter with me. School's dull, that's all. Now, my boy, school isn't dull. It's a lot of fun. Are you kidding? Algebra, history, hygiene. I'm not referring to your studies, young man. There's all sorts of interesting activities in school that can make your work seem easier. What do you do during recess? I eat lunch. You... <laughs> Why don't you participate in the sports? You didn't even go out for touch football. Oh, I can't run fast enough. Well, what about the folk dancing they have at school? You can run fast enough for that. Folk dancing? Duh. They wanted Leroy to join the glee club last year, but oh no. Glee club. That's moldy. Leroy. <laughs> you aren't trying to find interesting things at school. You're fighting it. Let's have a little change of attitude, my boy. Yeah. Christmas is coming, you know. And I have a feeling that Santa Claus will be a little more generous to boys who are interested in school. You think so, Unc? Well, I wouldn't doubt it. Okay, I'll try. Yeah. That's a boy. Let's see. Ten plus twenty-four equals. Yeah, you see, Marjorie, Leroy's more interested in his homework already. Homework? I'm figuring how many days it is till Santa Claus gets generous. Oh. <laughs> well, somebody's at the Jolly Boys Club. Sounds like Floyd working over that new song I gave him. Oh, brother, he's really working it over, too. Hi, Commissioner. Hello, Floyd. I was just amusing myself the fellows got here. You're a little late tonight. Well, I had to have a talk with Leroy. Well, yeah? The boy just isn't taking the proper interest in school, Floyd. Oh, well, you don't have to worry about him, Commish. A lot of kids come into my barber shop, and Leroy's got as fine a head for his age as any kid I ever worked on. Uh, he's got his bumps in the right place. <laughs> I'm not worried about Leroy's bumps, Floyd. I'm trying to get him interested in outside activities. Those things are good for a person. Sure they are. Sure. You know how much the Jolly Boys mean to us. Say, where is everybody? Search me. We ain't had 100% attendance in months. Last week, Peavy and the judge was both missing. That's right. And the week before, Chief Gates skipped it to play pinochle with a prisoner. Yeah. The club's dying on its feet, Commissioner. Now, Floyd, this little group has held together for a good many years. Remember our slogan, all for one and one for all. Well, I for one wish all would show up. <laughs> While we're waiting, let's run through the song, huh? Just the two of us? Uh, certainly, Floyd. You play and I'll sing. Okay. Take it, Commissioner. I love those dear hearts. 
and gentle people who live in my hometown because those dear hearts and gentle people will never ever let you down they really letting us down tonight yeah floyd they read the good book from friday till monday that's how the weekend goes i've got a dream house i'll build there one day with picket fence and rambling roads i feel so welcome each time that i return that my happy heart keeps laughing like a clown i love the dear hearts and gentle people who live in love in my hometown well well how's that floyd sound great with a quartet yep <laughs> where are all those dear hearts and gentle people that were supposed to show up well if floyd... this keeps up i got a good notion to rent this room out rent it out a guy was in the other day wanting to open a walk up and save two pants suit store what <laughs> sure he even offered to give me a two panter if i'd sign the lease floyd you wouldn't toss out four friends for two pairs of pants no i guess i wouldn't Gee, this meeting's a dud. Let's go home, Commissioner. Oh, they'll show up, Lloyd. Come on, let's run through the song again. Okay, and this time I'll sing. Well, um, um... I love the dear hearts and gentle. Oh, Lloyd! Oh, you're right. <laughs> the meeting is a dud. Let's go home. <laughs> Been so busy all day, I haven't had a chance to check with the Jolly Boys. Wonder why they weren't at the meeting last night. Oh, well, if they're not interested in holding the little group together, I don't know why I should be. That you, Miss Gillsleeve? Yes, Bertie. Mr. Gillsleeve, are you going to be surprised? I am. <laughs> Guess what Leroy brought home this afternoon? Uh, a cow? <laughs> Oh, I almost hope it's a cow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen. Leroy. Between halves, you'll be entertained by the Summerfield School Band. What's this? Featuring Leroy Forrester on the slide trombone. Uh, oh, my goodness. Forward, march. You, uh, 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 Leroy, what are you doing with that trombone? Oh, watch it. You nearly knocked my hat off. Upstairs. Hello, Uncle Moore. Hello, Marjorie. Leroy, where did you get that infernal thing? I got it at school. Well, take it back. <laughs> Leroy, why would anybody as smart as the professor give you a slide trombone? Gosh, Uncle, you told me to get interested in something at school. I don't... That's right. I did, didn't I? You'll be sorry. Listen to this. <laughs> you like it, don't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very good, Leroy. <laughs> Something, all right. Leroy, show your uncle how well you play that first lesson. Sure. We got a musician in the family. That's what we got. Yeah, all right, Leroy. Let's hear your lesson. Stand back, everybody. I'm going way back. I'm going up to my room and stuff a rug under the door. Coward! <laughs> Leroy, on with the concert. Sure. You'll be surprised what I learned the first day. Yeah, I bet I will. <laughs> And sure, tell my piano lessons help me, huh? -uh. <laughs> yes, indeed. Of course, I run out of breath pretty easy. Well, don't strain yourself, my boy. That's enough practicing today. Put the horn away. Yeah, I'll stand it here in the corner. I want to go study anyway. Yeah, you want to go study? Yeah, you can't play in the school band unless you've got passing grades. See you later, huh? All right, my boy. Well, I got to put a cake in the oven if there ain't going to be no encore. <laughs> yes. Who'd think a trombone could make Leroy take such an interest in school? <laughs> Let's have a look at this thing. Hmm. Looks like they've been playing hockey with it. <laughs> Wonder if I can get anything out of a trombone. <laughs> the 
lot like the bugle I used to play. <laughs> Same thing with more pipes. I'll try the scale. <laughs> I take this down to the Jolly Boys some night. Say, wonder if we could organize a little band. Might be just the thing to get them interested in the club again. Look what it did for Leroy. Sure, why not? Floyd plays the piano. PV plays the violin. A little. And I could get to be pretty hot on this trombone. <laughs> Gonna organize a little band with the Jolly Boys. Organize a band? You go play the trombone? Well, it seems to come natural to me. Listen. <laughs> What's the matter, Bertie? <laughs> Nothing. Excuse me, I'm going to see if my cake fell. <laughs> well, must be a very sensitive cake. <laughs> Great Gildersleeve will be back again in just a minute. You homemakers have probably been busy all afternoon getting that turkey ready for the big Thanksgiving feast tomorrow. In fact, you've probably been much too busy to think about the day you'll have to transform leftover pieces of that bird into hearty new main dishes. Well, when leftover time comes, you'll be all set if you remember to get a two-pound loaf of Kraft Smooth Melting Cheese Food Velveeta. Because you can melt good-eating Velveeta for a grand cheese sauce that'll make the last bits of that bird into a special treat. Now, here's all you do. Melt one-half pound of Velveeta in the top of your double boiler. Stir in one-quarter cup of milk. Season to taste. To that glorious golden sauce, add your turkey pieces, pour on toast points. And there's a swell main dish. Hearty, too, because Velveeta is full of fine food values from milk. You'll want to get smooth-melting Velveeta in the two-pound loaf, so you'll have plenty on hand for a wide variety of hot main dishes and for snacks and sandwiches, too. Just be sure you get genuine Velveeta. It's the cheese food of top quality, made only by Kraft. Well, it seems the Jolly Boys Club has been falling apart lately. To stimulate interest, the great Gildersleeve has decided to organize a band and lure the strays back into the fold. And it so happens that Mr. Peavy is one of the strays. Well, hello, Peavy. Oh, hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. <laughs> what can I do for you today? Peavy, I missed you at the Jolly Boys Club the other night. I'm sorry I couldn't make it. You gentlemen have a pleasant evening at the club? Peavy, there wasn't anybody there but Floyd and me. And frankly, I'm a little disturbed about our attendance. Yes, so? Certainly. <laughs> right at the holiday season when we should be getting together, we seem to be drifting apart. Well, I hadn't thought of that. Peavy, do you still have your violin? Oh, yes. Do you play it? Oh, my, yes. At night, after we've done the dishes, I often play and Mrs. Peavy hums. Yes. Good. Uh, I've got a surprise for you, Peavy. I'm going to organize a Jolly Boys band. How's okay. that? A Jolly Boys band. There are five of us. We'll have a little quintet. Uh, you'd be interested in attending the Jolly Boys meetings if we played music, wouldn't you, Peavy? Well, yes. Yeah. But uh, who'd be playing in the band, Mr. Gildersleeve? Why, all of us. My, my. <laughs> Peavy, I haven't said anything about this, but... I've recently taken up the trombone. Who mm, don't say? Yeah. I used to play the bugle in military school. Well, here comes Chief Gates. We'll talk to him about it. Hello, Paula. Oh, hello, Chief. Chief, how did you play when you were in school? Well, don't tell anybody, but I played hooky. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, Mr. Gildersleeve has quite an idea here, Chief. You bet. I'm organizing a Jolly Boys band. Say, that is quite an idea. Did you ever play any musical instruments, Chief? Well, I used to be pretty good on the bass drum. Bass drum? Well, that was when we had the old police band. Oh, good. That's great, Chief. 
Now, all I have to do is see Judge Hooker. We already have a piano, trombone, violin, and a bass drum. <laughs> As Guy Lombardo says, we'll make the sweetest music this side of heaven. Well, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Think of the idea, Judge. It's most fascinating, Gilda. What instrument are you going to play? Well, I'm going to play the trombone. Mm-hmm. Knowing you, I thought it would be one of the wind instruments. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Judge, if you're not interested... Oh, I am. I haven't had my trusty flute out of the trunk in years. A flute? Hey, that's just what we need. Splendid. Judge, you get your flute out of the mothballs and be at the Jolly Boys Club this evening. I'll be glad to, Gilda. Have you done anything about arrangements? Why, certainly. I'm making a... Arrangements? Musical arrangements for the individual instruments. Well, I thought we'd just improvise. Oh, we can't do that, Gildy. Each musician must have his own music. Now, why don't you select something suitable, go down to the music store and see Yasha Mitz. Yasha Mitz? You mean the fellow with the goatee? Yeah. He makes arrangements for a very small fee. Well, if you think that's necessary... Absolutely. I'd suggest something simple like Waltz of the Flowers by Tchaikovsky. Waltz of the Flowers? <laughs> It's wonderful for a small group, Gildy. Mm -hmm. Ta 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 ta. All right, Judge. Then the flutes go. Tee da dee da dee da dee da dee. Tee da dee da dee da dee da dee. Please, please, Judge. Not on your fountain pen. You're getting ink all over your chin. Oh, well, you get the idea. Yeah, definitely. Imagine an old goat playing a flute. <laughs> ah, little bells. Hmm. There's something mighty nice about a music store. May I help you? Yeah, nicer than I thought. Do you wish something? Uh, yes. Is Mr. Yasha Mitz in... No, he just went out to lunch. Oh, well, I wanted him to make an arrangement for a little musical group, Quintet. Well, I'm sure he'd like to. Uh, what selection did you wish arranged? Well, I thought I might talk that over with Mr. Mitz. How about that uh, waltz of the flowers? Oh, what are the instruments in your group? I'd better write them down for Mr. Mitz. Oh, yeah, well, we have a piano, of course. Yes, of course. Violin. Violin. Flute. Flute. Bass drum. A bass drum? Yeah, that's right. And trombone. Oh, well, I'm sure Mr. Mitz will be quite interested in working this out. Oh, you think so? Well, good. I'd like to have the arrangement this evening. Oh, well, that might be rushing him a little. Well, tell him to arrange as much as he can. We're just amateurs. <laughs> yes, well, uh, I'll give this to Mr. Mitz. Thank you. Say, beautiful trombone you have there. Do you like it? Oh, yes, indeed. Trombone is my instrument. I really ought to have one. You don't have one? Well, uh, I've <laughs> been using a borrowed one. How much are they? Well, we have them starting at $85. Zeke. Oh. <laughs> uh, wouldn't want to go that high. Of course not, since you're just beginning. Yes. We have a used one here. Huh? Somebody traded it in on a television set. <laughs> it's priced at $18.50. $18.50. Well, it's in better shape than Leroy's. Bye, right, George, I'll take it. Oh, it's a wonderful buy. Oh, I can see that. Nice and shiny. Will you send the bill to me, Throckmorton P. Gildersleeve, at the Water Department? Why, of course, Mr. Gildersleeve. Will there be anything else? No, thanks. Um, well, um, come to think of it, there is something else. Yes. When Mr. Mitz starts arranging that flute part that goes, dee 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 tell him to make it for the trombone. <laughs> <laughs> in that tub of ice, Peavy. Well, well. Ah, George, it certainly is good to have all the jolly boys here at the club again. Say, where's Hooker? He'll be along. Well, I'll pass out the music. Floyd, here's the piano part. Okay, Commish. Peavy, here's the part for violin. Well, it says first violin. And only violin. <laughs> <laughs> Chief, you get the drum arrangement. Thank you, Commissioner. Chief, you've got a hole in your drum. Well, we used to play at the baseball games. Foul ball. Oh, my. 
<laughs> well, it doesn't hurt the tone any. Listen. <laughs> Sounds like you singing, Chief. Uh, <laughs> hey, is this the kind of stuff we're going to play? What's the matter with it, Floyd? Waltz of the flowers. Whoop! I'm a butterfly flitting from flower to flower. <laughs> Floyd, if it's good enough for Tchaikovsky, it's good enough for you. Yeah, well, I'll soon tell you. Is that the way it goes, Floyd? Well, that's the gist of it. If I played all the notes wrote down here, I'd have to be an octopus. <laughs> all right, Floyd. Are you all tuned up, Peavy? I think so. Good. Let's hear the first violin part. Yeah, well... You better rosin up, Peavy. <laughs> but it is very good, though, Peavy. Yeah, thank you. What's that? Sounds like a flute. Must be the judge. Well, what do you know? Hi, Judge. Good evening, gentlemen. I'm the spirit of 76. That looks like the flute that played it. <laughs> yeah, the judge looks like the fellow who played the flute. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now, now, gentlemen. Gildy, did you have the arrangements made? Yeah, here's what you're supposed to play, Judge. Thank you. Say, Commissioner, I've been looking at this music, and the drum doesn't have anything to do until page three. It's a waltz, Chief. Just beat waltz time. Well, shall we begin? I know the piece very well myself. Yeah, let's take a run over it. All right. Now, everybody start together, please. One, two. <laughs> what was that for? Wait for the rest of us, Chief. Well, fellas, the drum has to start it all. We're not playing in a parade, Chief. The flute has the opening passage. Now, on my music, it don't. Floyd, you have the piano part. Now, let's oh. play. All right, we'll start again. One, two, three. glasses on, Hooker, you were way off. I was way off. You weren't even playing in the same key. What? No, just a minute. If you ask me, there wasn't anybody playing in the same key. <laughs> Floyd is a piano player. You're a good barber. Yeah, well, you ain't no Gabriel on that horn, either. <laughs> hey, hey. If I have to be the only musician in this club... Fellas, I don't like to complain, but can't we play something that isn't so artistic? Believe me, Chief, there's nothing artistic about the way you pound that drum. <laughs> Judge, one side's got a hole in it. If you ask me, I think it'd sound better if it had a hole in both sides. <laughs> oh, now, Mr. Gildersleeve. As far as I'm concerned, if I play the flute at all, I'm going to play it as Tchaikovsky intended. All right, you old goat, go play it with Tchaikovsky. <laughs> hey, well, if that's the way you feel... Oh, now, fellas. I at least play the notes. With that trombone, you shouldn't be in an orchestra, Gildy. You should be selling fish. Oh, <laughs> you guys read the music. That's what you tell me. Now, fellas, well, let's all... I'm a bunch of musicians. I was playing it. You guys got ten ears. That's all. Floyd. Of... Fellas, fellas, well, let's all be jolly boys. I, for one, no longer care to be a jolly boy. Where's my flute case? That's probably what you've been playing on. <laughs> Give me my trombone. I'm going home. Me too. I hate to see this happen, fellas, after all these years. Too bad. <laughs> well, who's going first? You go first, Judge. This is the end of the Jolly Boys. No, you go first, Gildy. What do we have to go for? Well, everybody wants to break up the club. Not me. Wasn't my idea. And don't look at me. <laughs> 
I'm quite sure I'm not to blame. Who started all this, anyway? Oh, let's quit kidding ourselves. This is the best meeting we ever had. Well, it has been rather lively. Sure. <laughs> let's forget the band and go back to singing. Yeah, that suits me. <laughs> My baritone is better than my trombone, anyway. Well, now, I wouldn't say that. Peavy! <laughs> Come on, let's go, gang. I love those dear hearts and cares those people who live in my own town. We'll hear from the great Gildersleeve again very shortly. Nobody will be worried about food values or nutrition at that big Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow. But next week, when you mothers are packing lunch boxes for the youngsters, you'll be hunting for a really bodybuilding sandwich filler. Then you'll want Kraft's famous cheese food, Velveeta. You see, when you spread or slice that swell-eating Velveeta, you're giving the youngsters important food values from milk. Yes, Velveeta helps supply protein for strong muscles. Minerals for sound teeth and bones. Vitamins needed for growth. And you know, Velveeta is as digestible as milk itself. So for wholesome, good-eating luncheon sandwiches the youngsters will go for, keep stocked with Velveeta. Get the two-pound loaf so there'll be plenty for snacks, too. That's genuine Velveeta, the cheese food of craft quality. <laughs> shouting at you. What's the matter? Is that horn making you deaf? No, I got cotton in my ears. Sounds better that way. Well, I can believe that. Leroy, I've got a little surprise for you. For me? Yeah. You can't make that old trombone from school sound like anything. You need a decent instrument. Here, my boy, I'm going to give you my trombone. A real good one. Gee, all my own. Oh, boy, thanks, son. That's all right, my boy. I think it'll sound much better. Sure it will. Oh, boy, just listen to me now. <laughs> Oh, what difference in the world, huh? Yes, yes. Leroy. Yeah, Unc? Pass the cotton. <laughs> Here are the final week's contest winners and the name of the grand prize winner in the Great Gildersleeve's Name My Song contest, which ended November 5th. Mrs. Jack Dixon, Pullman, Washington. Mrs. James L. Dunbar, Jr., Terre Haute, Indiana. Elmer H. Purchase, Newark, New Jersey. Mrs. Rose G. Schultz, Cicero, Illinois. Other fifth week contest winners will be notified by mail. And now for the news you've been waiting for. The winning title for Gildy's Song was suggested by Mrs. Anita Witterell, 18 Ward Avenue, Millbury, Massachusetts. Our special congratulations to you, Mrs. Witterell. You not only get $1,000 for winning one of the weekly prizes, you get the grand prize of $5,000 in cash. <laughs> This is Harold Perry. Tomorrow, if we could come to your Thanksgiving table, gleaming and heaped with good foods, we would put beside each plate five kernels of corn. It's an old New England custom, and here's what it means. It betokens prosperity to you for the coming year. But since we can't come personally to your Thanksgiving table, the Kraft Foods Company and all of us in the Gildersleeve cast would like to wish you a very happy Thanksgiving and wish for our nation a coming year full of peace and progress, prosperity, and plenty. Good eating tomorrow, folks, and good night. Break the Bank, radio's biggest money-paying show.